Hi everyone, we're going to talk about the impact of recreational activities on the environment and we're going to break it up into three categories. The first one is looking at vehicles because often the activities that we want to participate in involve us getting there and some of them actually involve using vehicles so use the example of trail bikes and four wheel drives and they have a variety of impacts including erosion sedimentation, creating track braiding and then they become boggy over time and when they become boggy what do they do? They drive around them and create new tracks so more erosion. Uh, let's not forget things such as damage to trees from camping. I'll put this little picture in here you can see the example of the pollution of the waterways from um, silt and sedimentation coming off the track and it's all going to go and wash into the waterway and you'll get your biological contamination other things that hop, pop up are things like the plowing of untracked hillsides tracks being unnegotiable due to rutting damage to the water quality so our little fishies don't like that so much I've got two little examples here these guys are heavily impacted on. There's a little bit of blackfish. That one's there for you Nathan. Alright, check it out. Camping. We talked about these, we saw them on the video. These are the three main factors. Fire scars, remembering that the, the scarification lasts over a hundred years. Depletion of firewood, when people go and collect firewood from the surrounding area and damage to vegetation as people look for that firewood. Other things to consider, soil compactation and erosion from repeated trampling and tent pitching. Rubbish disposal and toileting practices that are in inappropriate. So remembering toileting needs to be at least 150 metres from water and we take out what we take in in terms of rubbish. Remember that line, take out what you take in. And introduction of weed species and the spreading of the seed. We also have the issue of people feeding characters such as kangaroos and possums and that leads to these animals relying on human intervention. And because our food is so heavily processed, uh, we introduce diseases and all the nasties that animals can't really enjoy. Oh, and our last thing that we're going to th talk about is rock climbing. We'll use rock climbing as our case study. Some of the impacts were the removal of plants at the bottom of the base of the climb, the compaction of the soil from all the uh, people climbing up and down that one particular spot. Once again, rubbish disposal and the permanent fixtures that people put in, so the bolts and the belay points and the impact that they have. Thinking about the removal of moss and other vegetation in order to clean the direction that people want to climb in and the defacing of the rock surface either through scratching, chipping smoothing the area or in some cases using cement to smooth the edges. So these are some examples of recreational impacts. Have a think about others, think about the activities that you participate in and what other people do to impact the environment. Cheers!